There's one thing that I don't believe we've ever done in Call of the Wild, and that is hunt for bull moose with the muzzleloader. For one, we haven't really hunted for bull moose in quite a while. And for two, I don't believe we've ever used a muzzleloader. And if we have, it might have been maybe once or twice. However, there's going to be one thing a little bit different about today's hunt. We're going to be using the 50 cal mini balls, which is not going to be the round balls. This one's going to be a little bit different. So before we head out to Layton Lakes, I want to take a shot on this really good muley buck that we saw yesterday. And just show you kind of how good these mini balls actually work. Now, clearly a big old bull moose is going to be quite a bit tougher than, say, a big mule deer buck. But still, you get the point. Double lunged him at 170 yards, and we hit exactly we're aiming for. So we're not going to have to hold high or low with this muzzleloader. We can zero in for 160, 100, or 200, and it pretty much shoots dead on. Well, let's just say that wasn't exactly the buck that I wanted to get. This right here is the one that I wanted to get. I mean, that was a pretty good buck, and we weren't going to pass him up. However, this here is a massive muley. He's about 140 out. I'm trying to back up a little bit so we can get off of this brush. And try and hard shoot him. Yeah. It's very rarely where you take a shot with this thing and you actually see an animal run away. <laughs> it is very rare. But here's our big old buck piled up right here. Let's see how the muzzy did on him. And yeah, that one's quite a bit bigger. 241 gold. But double lunged him at 150 yards. And as you can see, he dropped right on the spot. Guys, I wish I was joking right now. But I kid you not, this is the first animal that we've seen since we got to Layton Lakes for on my own map. And that's a guaranteed dive potential bull moose. Holy, I couldn't make this stuff up if I tried. I was trying to think of what I would want to say like when we first see something cool. And I don't even know what to say anymore because that's the first animal that we've seen on Layton Lakes. <laughs> He's a guaranteed diamond bull moose. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, that's going to be him calling over there. He's probably 150 yards out from us. We have an absolute horrible wind. And what we might try and do is work our way around uh, this lake here so we don't have wind blowing directly towards him. Because even with the muzzleloader, you still got to have a decent angle. You don't want to be taking front on shot. Oh my God, there he is. <laughs> I I can't even believe it. He's just so big. So he's only like 150 yards out. And technically we could probably just back up a little bit and potentially take a 200 yard broadside shot. Oh yeah, we actually might be able to make this happen. <laughs> Oh, he's so impressive. What a giant. But yeah, because we have a bad wind, we really can't do much about this. I'm hoping we can get to a spot where we can take a shot through that grass there without it obstructing our shot. Okay, guys. Well, we just got in position here. We are 223 yards out from this bull. He's pretty much broadside. Slightly quartering a tad bit, but I mean, we still definitely got a single lung potential for sure. So we'll zero in for 210, and I think we'll hold right for the center of the lung there, and we should be able to squeeze the trigger and make this happen. But that right there is one of the biggest estimates, or the highest estimates, on a dime potential bull moose that I've ever seen in Call of the Wild before. I have never seen an estimate that high before. Okay, so let's calm down and try and think of what we want to do. That is zero in for 220. And I think what we might do is actually hold it right on the heart. That was perfect. That was absolutely perfect. Right where I wanted it. And he ran past that brush there. Let's actually... Let's head over there. But uh, I don't really want to jump him up just yet, so we'll just kind of head over there and uh, give him a little bit of time to go bed down. And to be honest, it kind of worked out perfectly because it was pouring rain for quite some time. And I didn't want to take the shot in the rain because 
uh, in my opinion, it is very, very annoying to try and watch a hunt when it's raining. So I did as much as I possibly could to basically delay um, the shot until it calmed down and everything worked out nicely. And I think it worked out pretty good. Now, imagine if that was the first bull that we saw here. Look at that thing. Just a typical, you know, young bull, which is mostly what I'd probably see on my own map, to be honest, but uh, not today. No, no, not today. All right, well, we got some pretty good blood here and we actually took the shot in the water. So it's a little bit difficult to find where we initially hit him. However, we got really good blood going this direction here, all the way up through this thick woods here. And the last place I saw him was pretty much right past this thicket here. And look in front of us right there, guys. Look what's laying right in front of us. Man, we got to go over there and go take a look at this incredible bull piled up here. He must have went maybe like 50 or 60. He really didn't go too far at all. It's still pouring rain, but you know what? We're going to go over here and we're going to pick this thing up. Wow, look at the palmades on that thing. Oh my god. I mean, I'll kind of try and take a picture of that. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but let's just pick this thing up. <laughs> a 300 boy 20 monster diamond bull moose. We double lunged him at 225 yards with the muzzleloader. And that right there is one incredible looking diamond bull. And that's actually our first animal on Lay Licks. Our first bull. Our first bull is a 300 plus diamond bull. Took him at 225 yards. Wow. You know, when I was saying before about uh, how this muzzleloader is so good that it shouldn't even be allowed to be able to hunt kind of like smaller or medium game animals. And basically what I'm saying is you should be able to use this muzzleloader for up to class nine animals. Like it works so good. You should be able to hunt Cape Buffalo and lion with it. And for some reason you just can't. Anyways, it's an amazing rifle and I definitely recommend using it because it is an incredible muzzleloader. Oh my God, what a perfect shot and what a phenomenal, magnificent diamond bull moose that we got. It's just like, the odds of something like this happening, it's probably like one in 10,000 or something like that. I mean, to be able to get a 300 plus diamond bull, they're very, very hard to find. I've only ever gotten one in four years of playing this game. I've only gotten one 300 plus diamond bull moose. And now we just got our second one. And I know we're talking about this bull a lot, but uh, he deserves it. He definitely deserves it. It's not exactly the bull that we're looking for. In fact, it's not really a bull moose, but it is a bull elk and he's not a bad size one. He's right in front of us here at about 160. So if we get a shot, I wouldn't mind taking it because we're kind of going this direction anyways. And I also want to see how the muzzleloader does on the elk. Only problem is he's kind of bedded there and we really don't have a shot at, well, pretty much anything. So what I'm hoping for is maybe we can get his attention. Let's just take a shot over there and see if he stands up. Oh, that definitely worked. All right. You give me no choice. We got to take kind of a quartering angle shot. And I think we did all right, but yeah, we did good. In fact, he's going down pretty much right where we shot him. <laughs> So he ran away and then circled back around, kind of backtracked right to the initial spot that we took the first shot. So that worked out good. As long as we're still going this direction, I figured we might as well take him down and he's a pretty, pretty decent sized bull. All right, let's find out how the muzzy did on him. 237, so decent sized bull. 
And we did get a shoulder blade lung shot at 130 yards out. You won't believe how many bulls I've been passing up to try and find something decent. We're finding a bunch of super small bull moose, and then we're finding a ton of cows. So I really don't want to take down any small bull moose. But then we found this, and that is a pretty decent bull elk. In fact, I think that's actually going to be a gold potential bull. However, I definitely want to try and test out the limit with the distance on this muzzle loader here. And we're looking at about 330, 340 yards here. So I think this could be kind of perfect. So let's zero in for 219. And we're going to have to hold it probably somewhere around there. But I want to make sure we're right. Drilled him, drilled him, drilled him. Oh my god, we smoked him! He's going down right there! He is piled up 370 yards away from us. Wow. So I held it probably like three inches above the spine. And I don't know, I'm so curious like exactly where we hit. I feel like we probably centered the lung pretty good. He was actually quartering away and his legs were kind of forward so it really opened up the vitals quite a bit. So the coolest part about this is after we took the shot the percentage went down so fast that in my opinion I would almost have to guarantee that we got a double lung at over 300 yards with the muzzleloader. Honestly I would not be shocked if it was double lung because the amount of power and penetration that this muzzleloader with the 50 cal mini ball has it's just unbelievable. And if you look right there, you can see some really good lung blood. And he was headed this direction here. We really don't even need to track him because we saw him pile up right in that thicket right over there. So let's go over there and go have a look at this bull. I do believe he should be gold potential as well. Based off the rack, he should be somewhere around like a 280 or 290s. And I think like 270 plus is gold. But here he is, right here. Let's have a look at him. He's going to score 305, and we double lunged him at 331 yards. Man, that shot was money. He was slightly quartering, but I mean, what a perfect shot. And a beautiful bull elk down. So I believe we have a Drake Melanistic Mallard Duck right there, and he's gold potential too. Now he's roughly 120 yards out probably. 150. So it's going to be kind of difficult to make this happen, I'm not going to lie. But we got the bow. And we have 11 shots to try and make this happen. Could be interesting. So let's get our bow zeroed in for 60. And I know the second to last pin is gonna be 80. You saw last time we took down that gobbler at 90 yards, so we can shoot pretty far. Just a matter of being able to find him. But uh what kind of that's gotta be a melanistic. It's a hen. But it's still a pretty cool looking melanistic. So why not try and take down this hen here? At about 20 yards out. Drilled her. She's down. And I'm hoping the other ducks don't spook from that. There's a chance they might not have spook. Oh, they didn't spook. Check that out. So there's our Drake melanistic over there. Now how far is that? I'll tell you in a second. Yeah, so that was in fact a melanistic hen mallard duck. Pretty sweet. All right, we made it all the way over here. And right there is our rare melanistic mallard duck. Now, it said he was 130, but I would say he's probably... Yeah, that's what I was going to say. He's less than 80 yards away from us right now. So technically, he's borderline in range. If we can get... 20 yards closer, then he should be smoked. All right, well, I'm pretty sure our duck actually went over here. 
because I see his track right here. And this is like the last place I saw him around here. All right, so we've been sneaking up on him for quite a while now, and I'm pretty sure our rare melanistic duck is right in front of us, less than 50 yards away. But it's very thick here, so it's going to be very difficult to see him. However, if we just take our time and get to a spot where we can see, like kind of right here, they got to be right there. They got to be right on top of us. Oh my god, I think I see him. I think I see him. There he is, there he is. He's 30 yards out, guys. He's 30 yards out. Let's draw back. Oh, we got him. We got him. Man, that was one tough hunt for a rare melanistic mallard duck. At first, I thought he was over there, and he was. We got all the way to the point, and he was nowhere to be seen. And next thing you know, there was ducks across over on that shore. And I heard ducks that were close by, but I didn't know, like, where they were. Sure enough, I swung around the point here, and I see the track from this duck. And that made me believe that he's got to be over here somewhere. And well, all of a sudden, we snuck over there. And we got ourselves a gold melanistic Drake Mallard duck at 30 yards out with a bow. And that thing is definitely getting mounted and going straight into the trophy lodge. Heck yeah. Double melanistic Mallard duck. And one happens to be a big old gold. They actually exist. We found a decent bull. Finally. I mean, I'm not going to complain because obviously within the first five minutes, we shot the biggest bull ever. But since then, we've been looking for bulls, at least like a decent sized bull, and they just weren't appearing. I was finding a ton of super, super small bulls and all cows, but not one somewhat decent bull. This bull here is actually gold potential. All the other bulls that we saw, well, I, I didn't even show you guys because they were so small. They were kind of embarrassing. Um, but anyways, they were all very, very small. This bull here is a very, very respectable bull. He's about 190 out there. And he's quartering a little bit. But I do believe we could attempt for a heart shot. So I think we'll try that. I think we'll go this way a little bit and see if we can go for about a 170 yard heart shot. I held a little bit high because he was like 180, but we got him. He's going down. All right, well, I'll take it. Didn't quite get the heart shot that I really wanted, but definitely got a single lung. And he shouldn't go too far. Look what I'm talking about here. Look at this. We have all cows. Just non-stop cows and super tiny bulls. Yeah, pretty good blood right here. You always want to check that first spot because even though the percentage went down, that doesn't necessarily mean that we got a vital hit. It could have meant that we hit intestine. Because this muzzleloader is so powerful, but in this case here, we were nowhere near the intestine. So the only thing that we could have hit is either the heart or the lungs. But I'll tell you what, he's definitely going a pretty good way. So I would say we probably only got a single lung. We've already tracked him for roughly 250. And we still got good blood, but he's going a long ways. Well, here he is down right over here. Yeah, he is in fact going to make gold 197.4 and we drilled that front shoulder I actually held just a little bit high because I thought we'd have a little bit of drop. But in reality, we didn't have a ton of drop. We pretty much hit exactly where I aimed for and drilled him in the shoulder and the left lung at 189 yards. But with that, that's going to be it for this video. Actually, no, it's not going to be it. <laughs> um... We got to go back to the trophy lodge and show you guys our massive diamond bull. I forgot. It's been so long since we've been back to the trophy lodge that um, I totally forgot we should go back there. I mean, it's been so long since we got something so special, I suppose, to be able to go back there and look at it. And so, yeah, let's go look at it. Holy, here he is. Look at the size of this bull. I didn't realize how big he was. I actually thought that I might have been crouched, but in reality, I was standing up and it's just that he's so massive. It's hard to get a good look at him. I absolutely love this pose right here, to be honest, and I'll probably keep him just like that. But um, for the time being, <laughs> let's just take a look at this beast of a bull moose. Well, there he is right there. 300.2 scoring monster diamond bull moose that we took with the muzzleloader at 200 yards.
what an awesome hunt this has been. And honestly, probably one of the most memorable hunts that I've ever had in Call of the Wild. What a special, special bull. So I'll probably keep him like this just for now because it's going to be the best that we can see him. And uh, yeah, anyways, still got that glitch going on there. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.